Hello everyone, Bishop Cecchio here. I always love November 1st and 2nd. I always love this time of year. Uh, November is a great month. Obviously Thanksgiving's at the end of the month and we begin our Advent season in preparation for Christmas. Uh, there is a downside to November, huh? Our days are shortening. You know, it's so dark in the mornings, although we'll be turning our clocks now, so that'll help a little bit uh, with our extending our days, uh, our light during the days uh, for a little bit, but we know they keep shrinking, huh? But November 1st and 2nd are always joyful days. Uh, November 1st, all saints, we remember all those who have gone before us, all those who triumphantly entered, have entered heaven, who fought the good fight and lived the good life, you know, uh, remaining faithful to Christ, no matter what the challenges came their way. Uh, when we think about some of the saints this year, we might concentrate some on, on the saints who arose during pandemics in the past. Huh? We have lots of them who distinguished themselves, who uh, made themselves great servants of their brothers and sisters in need in the name of Christ throughout the pandemics. Uh, we also remember those who, like people like you and me, go out of their way uh, to, to minister during these times, who go out of the way to care for the least of our brothers and sisters in need during this time. Uh, we have so many examples. Uh, last month we honored uh, missionaries of mercy, or disciples of mercy, at our Catholic Charities Gala. And your pastor has mailed in so many names of great people, brothers and sisters of ours in this diocese, who are do doing extraordinary things uh, to spread the gospel message and to assist our brothers and sisters in need during this time. It's so inspiring to read them. And I'm so grateful to all of them. We couldn't honor everyone at our Catholic Charities Gala, but we honor them in our prayers. And we thank God for them. God is calling us to be saints today. God's calling us to be faithful, even in the midst of our uncertainty about what's going on in our lives and in our world, amidst the confusion of the pandemic, amidst the evils of racism that we're facing in our country. God's calling you and me to be the saints for our church today. That's awesome responsibility, isn't it? And a privilege. So I encourage you, as we celebrate all saints, to turn anew, stay faithful, Stay close to Him, especially in the Eucharist during this time. Stay close to our Mother. Let them inspire us and strengthen us, build us up in virtue, uh, so that we can be the saints He needs us to be today. Come up the day after, November 2nd, of course, the next day we celebrate All Souls Day. And we remember, especially this year, all those who have died, especially this year from COVID, uh, those who have died unjustly at the hands of racist acts in our country. So we entrust them all mercifully to our loving Father, asking them, asking Him to embrace them and welcome them into their, His kingdom, sharing His mercy and love with them, and reassuring us with the gift of peace, which only He can do, which only He can give us, uh, that things will work out in His plan. They always do. Uh, even on Good Friday, when everything looked disastrous, uh, we know what happens after that. The resurrection. So even in the darkest moments, God is still working out his plan for us. So our hearts break for our brothers and sisters throughout our diocese who have lost loved ones throughout this time. But we're with you in prayer, and more importantly, we know God is with you. And his plan will work out. His plan will be victorious in each of our lives and for our church for our world. These are great days. Remember first and second. You know, we used to call them uh, the church triumphant, you know, all saints, uh, the church suffering, the church in purgatory where we pray for all souls. Uh, and then we have us, huh? Those of us still on the way. Let's pray for one another. Indeed, that we rise up to the occasion of being missionary disciples today, of being tomorrow's future saints. God bless you and know of my love and prayers for you as we begin this month of November, this great month of Thanksgiving, uh, this great month of preparation for the coming of Christ as we begin Advent at the end of the month and as we begin it with this beautiful celebration, all saints and all souls. God bless now.